Hey guys, thank you for tuning in and welcome to another video of Build Stuff with AI. So today we're gonna talk about Mid Journey 5. Yes, so just today uh, on their Discord official channel, Mid Journey announced that they are releasing soon Mid Journey 5, which is way more realistic than Mid Journey 4. Of course, Mid Journey 4 have received tremendous amount of attention and of course, the images were all over the internet and everybody's familiar with how it looks like. And if you, as you see here, this is their announcement on uh, Discord and it says like, hello everyone, we are getting close to releasing version 5, but before we do, we need your help on one or two more image rating activities. So basically, you will be able to rate the images which are supposedly similar to version 5 and accordingly you, they will be able to adjust uh, their version so if you are if you are a paying mid journey member so i am a paying mid journey member you need to click on this link and it will direct you to this page over here you will be able to see the images and choose which one that goes to your liking so let's go back to discord just to continue reading this so this activity is same as yesterday except now the two images are very similar to each other Please pick the one you like better. Okay, so detailed directions. You will be shown two images at a time. Please select one that you like more based on your own personal aesthetic taste. You will get the best rating experience on the mobile. On the PC, you can use one and two keys to select images and, and so on. Note, these images are not representative of version 5 algorithm, which will release soon. That's very interesting because they have said the same thing before releasing version 4. So if you want to see the version 4 images, that looked something like this. And of course, this is not what version 4 looked like when it was released. Like if you go back here to the Discord and you see, for example, the newbies channel, you, you will see the images. These are the images from the V4. You see, you see the quality and the details of it already. See, it's, it's insane. So, of course, like we expect that the version 5 will be much more realistic than the example that they are giving us. So, this is still version 4. But, of course, people, I think, will be still using version 4 to uh, release such images like color, uh, colorful, uh, futuristic and all this. So, I think people will still be using version 4 and uh, version 5 for different reasons so if you go here to see version 5 this is much more realistic like look at that it's it's insane so let's try to, to to rate a little bit which images are better i would say i like this one better this is also very realistic okay i like this one better wow look at the details here like you know in in version 4 they used to get the teeth wrong as well as the hands wrong so so far here the amount of the attention of detail is really good so let's go with this okay i like this one okay this is like a machine oiled machine look at this details here with the oil dropping this is really like much much better much better being details okay so here are some humans which is great so we can see the the fingers and focus on the fingers because version 4 had a problem with the fingers and the teeth so you see you have here very very proportionally fingers they have four fingers everything is normal because usually in the version 4 you could have i don't know five six fingers or, or maybe three fingers so wow these two images I, I would never say that it's 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 an ai i would say it's a real image i look at these details here like this is like, to me, that's that's real stuff. This is not uh, AI. I would go with this one. I think this one is great. Okay, look at this, very realistic. Look at the reflection in the eye. Look at this scar. That's, that's very, very realistic. It's much more developed than version four. Okay, I'll choose this one. <laughs> okay. Okay, I don't know which one to choose on this, but... <laughs> Okay, it's, I don't know. Maybe can I skip this one? <laughs> skip. Okay. All right. So this is like kind of abstract one. I'm not sure what it stands for, but I like this one better. Okay. This is also realistic. Oh, notice, notice here the fingers again. You see the fingers. This one, this finger seems to be very odd. Like it's very long, 
and I think we still have the problem with the fingers, but this one was our fingers, so I will go with this one, I guess. Look at the details here. This is good. This is really good. Okay, you see the hands also, the, this hand also here is, is not perfect. Look at this hand here, let's see. Yeah, this, this, this hand is better. This is much better quality. Okay, this is good. I, I think I'll lose this one. Feeling okay. So this is typical uh, version 4. This is typical Mid Journey version 4, I would say, like the colors, the feel, the, the, the components, everything. So I'll go with this one. And this is the future of websites, guys. Like, look at that. So Mid Journey will be used very, very soon to, to generate insane websites. I'm very sure about that, and uh, many com many companies are already trying to, to to think of a way how to convert those great designs into an actual code to allow clients to build up on top of it. So uh, I think I like this one better. It's more clean and everything. So okay, this is like very geometric. Mm, okay, this one. Okay, look at that. You, oh my god, you, there is no way you could say that this is an AI generated photo. Like, both of them are very realistic. Wow, look at the eyes, like the proportional and the look and the emotion. Everything is perfect. And this one, you, you will never know. Like, if I saw this image somewhere else, I would never think that it's like AI generated. Never, no chance. Okay, I, I like this one. This guy's smiling. I'll take this one. Okay, look at this one. Okay, that's burning tree, it's fire. Okay, I think this one, is, it still looks like, not real, looks like graphics so far, and this one, let's see. This one is more realistic, I would say. Okay, I'll go with this one. I don't know what the hell is that, but... Okay, so which one do I like better? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> okay, let's this this one. Okay, this is really good. Like, look at the details here and the color palettes and everything. Mm, this is good. And what about this one? Okay, well, I like this one more because it has more details. Okay, no, this one has better coloring, I think more uh, like focus and uh, yeah. Okay, look at the, look how realistic is this one. So, see the eyes, the mouth, wow. There is no way you would say that this is just AI generated. And this is, guys, this is not like coming, this is not like the very far future. This is like the near future, like we're leaving this. So version five is gonna be released soon and now they are testing it out. And they say that this image does not represent version five. So I, if, this, if we take the same what they did with version four, I think version five will be much, much, but much better than what we see now on the screen. So I'll go with this one. Okay, look at the emotions. Like, I love, I love the emotions, how the emotions are actually incorporated in the image. This is insane, like, okay, I'm gonna take this one. Okay, this is still like uh, version 4. I wouldn't call it version 5, I'll call it version 4. It's like, I'm not impressed so much, but okay, let's go with this one. There you go, you see the legs again. This is the problem with fingers, legs, teeth of version 4. So, <laughs> this is totally unacceptable because it's still not right. And this one, they got this one right. I think this one right. Look at the fingers here. Okay. Well, the fingers are not fully done, but the legs are better, of course. So just for that, I will just take this one. So let's go back here and see what is that. It's, it's Spider-Man. So you see this one, he's standing on air, basically. He, now he's jumping, now it makes more sense. But here he's like standing on air, so I think I'll go with the one with jumping because it makes more, more sense that he's there. Let's check the fingers. Okay, there are no fingers. Second one, second hand doesn't have fingers, but the first hand has fingers. So, okay, and here are the fingers. Here he has one, two, three. He has three fingers. Maybe he's closing one, I don't know. But I'll go with this one. Okay, so this is very realistic. And this is way more realistic. I like this one. The guy is on fire. Wow, oh my God. So yeah, I'll go with this one. Okay, this is pretty... Basic stuff, but okay, this one. All right, let's check this one again. Fingers, the it's still version four, bad fingers. This one, all right, this is better. Okay, mm -hmm. this is nice. This is nice. Okay, I'll go this one. Wow, 
this is an AI generated look at that. You would never guess that it's an AI generated image. Look at the details here. Wow, this is perfect. This is perfect. And also look at this one also. This is also perfect. Wow, we're getting there. We're getting there, guys, getting there. All right. <laughs> See, for example, the cigar is, I don't know where is it. it it's, it's not in his mouth, it's not in his nose. It's, it's like somewhere in the middle. So this is unacceptable. And this one, the cigar is also flying. So <laughs> both of them got it wrong. But other than that, I think like uh, the image itself uh, looks uh, really cool. So I'll go with this one. Okay. Mm, interesting. Look at the fingers again. Okay, one, she has six fingers. <laughs> six fingers, so that's not good. So let's go here, one, two, three, four, ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so this one maybe, maybe better, like I will outgo with this one. I don't know what they are doing here, but let's check what they are doing there. Okay, well, in, I don't know what they are doing in any of these, but I have to make a choice, so I'll choose this one. This is, uh, wow, this is really good. This is really good. That's easy for me. I'll take this one. It's more colorful and, you know, more vibrant and feels more live. I'll take this one. I remember this, seeing this in real life. I don't remember where. This one, I think it was somewhere in Jordan. I don't know. But this is cool. Okay, this is pretty basic. But you got the idea. So just to let you know, guys, this is really addictive. Like, you can just keep clicking and rating the images all day. So make sure that you don't spend so much time on this. But... Uh, this will give you a glimpse of the future, which we're moving super fast and uh, what the v version 5 of Mid Journey will look like. So in case if you'd like to play around with Mid Journey, just go to Mid Journey website and uh, log into their Discord. They will give you access through a newbie channel and over here you will be able to see uh, the creations of other people and also create your own. I have made a lot of videos on how to uh, create prompts on Mid Journey, and I'll just give you a quick example just here slash imagine. You all will start with slash imagine, and you type here what you want a car with spider on top of it. Just basic prompts, just for you to get an idea on what you can actually get. Uh, you can talk to to to, uh, to uh, Mid Journey in basic English and still get results. But of course, when you have more in depth, more detail prompts that will give you even better images and uh, better results. Okay, so this is our result. I just showed a car with a spider on it, so you'll see how it looks like. This is the result of my prompt. It's very basic prompt, uh, like uh, it doesn't have any. Uh, complications or anything but it's really nice you see it put all the lighting the coloring and everything by its own so anyway so this is the first news that I want to talk about uh, the second news I want to talk about is ChatGPT ChatGPT announced yesterday that there will be ChatGPT 4 which is coming up soon and ChatGPT 4 will allow you to turn an image into text and of course that means that if you have an image of something you will be able to convert it into a code so i will be covering chat gpt4 in another uh, video until i gather enough information about it because it's very fresh not much information are live yet and once i get that maybe tomorrow i will be able to uh, talk about chat gpt4 and what it could be used for and also the new chat gpt3 api which also was released and people are able to build new stuff uh, using ChatGPT3 API. Before that, the, the only API available was for ChatGPT, which I'm sorry, not uh, ChatGPT, but for GPT, uh, GPT3. So this is the API which we're currently using in our project and we plan also to upgrade to the new API. So thank you so much for tuning in guys and uh, I really appreciate you so much. Please make sure you like and subscribe and I will be seeing you again in a new video tomorrow. Peace.